Hello, welcome. These are products that I currently own from Phytosurgeons. The first item is the Verdant Force Field Restorative Moisturizer. This is my third bottle. This is my backup bottle. Um, I've used up one already and I have the one I'm currently using is in the bathroom. And this is my third one, my backup one. <laughs> um, I really, really love this moisturizer. It sinks into the skin nicely. It doesn't leave my skin oily, but it does leave it, um, my skin does feel moisturized after. It's a, it looks green <laughs> um, when you pump it out. One second, let me just get the one I'm using so I can show you guys. This is the one I'm currently using. Pumps out, it's green like that. And it rubs in. It's a light moisturizer, but it sinks in and dries down really nicely. Does not feel greasy, but my skin feels nourished. It has a green tea scent. So this is the one I'm using and this is my third bottle back up. Next thing I have is the Spectro Shine in Solar Sheen. And this is what this one looks like. It is a nice Perfect, I can apply it on top of the Verdant Force Field. That's what it looks like. It gives me a really nice sheen. It's not sparkly. It just gives a really nice healthy sheen. Um, because of the way it looks on my skin, I actually also apply it under my eyes under my eye area and it gives a brightening effect it's really nice brightening air brushed looking effect and that's it beautiful healthy glow um let's see these are the skin spark I have five of them. My oldest is Fervor. And this is what Fervor looks like. There. My most used are um, the toasted line it's sublimate and exothermic when i got these two i was using them at least a few times a week i would say four to five times a week that's exothermic because i love the i guess the toasted look to them they're more muted than these that I have and they blend in nicely they are pigmented but they also easily blend out This one is sublimate. These are my newest ones. I have not worn these as of the time of filming this video. This one is swelter. This one is ember.
I use these on my cheeks as a blush and also my lips. Most like texture and then when you apply them they apply nicely blend easily they do not feel sticky ember swalter exothermic and fervor these are their flash fluorescence um, these are for the eyes this one is pewter pine pewter pine beautiful deeply rooted This is a dual chrome shade. Wild oak. And these, I'm trying to open this, I really, <laughs> when I close them, I'm afraid they might dry out. Um, so I really close them tightly. I do that with all my products that are in a jar, but this is wild oak. I use wild oak sometimes for as a face highlighter as well. I have oily lids and these stay really well on my lids. They do not crease, crease as fast as some other cream shadows or even normal shadows that I have and I like it so much how it performs on my lids that sometimes I use them as a base before I apply powder eyeshadow wild wisteria wild wisteria has a noticeable sparkle to it. Velvet leaf. This is one of my favorites. Oxidized olive. The last one is chilled cherry. Chilled cherry. I love the tone of the chilled cherry. These are all the flash fluorescents that I currently own. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video.